Hey everyone and welcome back to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. In this video I'm going to tell you about 10 microphones that you should be looking for. And at the end of the video I'll also tell you about a few that you need to avoid. So make sure that you stick around to the end to see that as well. In my opinion, the microphone is one of the most important parts of your radio's setup. So it's important that you make sure to have a good one. And the first thing I want to tell you is that most of the mics being made in today's market are not built very well. As a matter of fact, I recently made a video showing you the removal of an M6B board and replacing it with a new old stock M6 board because the newer board was crap. I'll put a link to that video right here. So these are actually going to be older mics and I'm only talking about desktop mics, no handheld mics. I'll make another video in the future for handheld mics. Most of the mics in this video will work for CB or ham and remember this is in a top 10 list. So the first mic in this list is the Sedelta Echo Master Plus. It's a great sounding mic that comes with echo and a two-tone Roger beep built right into it. And it averages at around $75 to $100 online. But due to the echo and the Roger beeps, I wouldn't recommend this mic for ham radio. This mic is better suited for CB. The next mic is the Ecstatic Echo Max 2000. Again, a great sounding mic that comes with an echo and a Roger beep built into it. And it averages at around $150 to $200 online. I wouldn't recommend this mic for ham radio either. Another great mic is the Turner Super Sidekick. These mics sound great on sideband. And they can be found online for around $50 to $100. And these mics are good for any radio. Next up is the famous Aesthetic D104 Gray Bass or the Aesthetic D104 TUG8, which is a good sounding mic that's great for any radio, but it sounds especially good on vintage radios. And these can be found online for around $75 to $150. The next mic I'm going to tell you about is the Turner SSB Plus 2, which is another classic mic that has great sounding audio. The cost of these mics are all over the place, ranging from $50 to $150. What? Next is an Aesthetic Silver Eagle. These mics are a great performer. I've used one for years and it's always sounded good. And they can be found online for $150 to $175. But I've seen some of them for as much as $200. But personally, I wouldn't pay that much for one. Not unless it was new old stock and in its box with the paperwork. So next up is the Turner Plus 3. Again, another great mic made by Turner that sounds good on sideband. And these can be found online for between $50 to $100. Anything more than that is too much. Next is the Aesthetic Black Bass, or what Aesthetic calls the Special. This is another great mic made by the Aesthetic Mic Company. I've been using one for a few years now that I was lucky enough to buy new old stock and it's been great and these can be found online for $150 to $200 next is the Aesthetic Golden Eagle this is another great mic which again was made by the Aesthetic company and I've been finding these online for around $225 to $300 and the last mic in this list is an Aesthetic Diamond Eagle. 
which at first can look like a golden eagle. But if you flip the mic around and look at the back of the mic head, you'll see the difference. The diamond eagle says diamond and anniversary on the back, as well as 1933 to 1993 because it was made to celebrate Ecstatic's 60th anniversary. And if you look closely, you'll notice that it has an actual diamond encrusted into the back of it. These things are important to take note of because the Diamond Eagle can cost anywhere from three to $500. And you don't want someone selling you a Golden Eagle for the cost of a Diamond Eagle. Now, before we move on to the mics that you should avoid buying, I'd like to take a minute to mention my favorite sponsor, the Raccoons Radio Ranch Store. The channel recently celebrated its first year anniversary, and to help celebrate that, I made a new logo. This logo, as well as the channel's original logo, can be found at the Raccoons Radio Ranch Store on items such as t-shirts, hoodies, coffee cups, travel mugs, and so much more. So please be sure to pay a visit to the store. There's something there for everyone. There's also an updated version of my popular original social network design. And if you're planning on shopping at Amazon, then please do me a favor and be sure to click on one of the links in the description area below because it helps the channel. And remember that the channel also offers a membership that goes right through YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate all your support. Don't forget to look for us on Facebook, MeWe, and Instagram. Thank you for your patience. Now, back to the video. So what mics should you avoid buying? As much as I'd hate to say it, they're mics that are made by the Estatic Company. And that's saying a lot for me because I've always swore by Estatic mics. But that was the old Estatic company. In recent years, their products have been being made poorly. Like in my previous video where I replaced a modern mic board with a new old stock board just to get a quality mic again. So then what mic should you avoid? Well, they're the Aesthetic M6B, the Road Devil, and the Aesthetic AST878DM. I, as well as many other people, have had nothing but bad luck with these mics. If you like the content in this video and you'd like to see more, then click one of these two boxes to see more videos like this. Thank you.